today we will see how we can use docker and docker compose for our local development so in a previous previous video we showed how we can use uh, docker for our node.js applications here was our docker file and in this application we will see how we can use docker for our local development as well so usually for our local development what we do is we uh, inside our package.json file we have some command let's say something like this and we just run it let's say yarn.dev and our application will be run uh, it's connected successfully and uh, if we see if we hit we will see uh, that our application is returning this message hello world right so it works but there are some problems with this approach the problem is let's say your application uses some special features that is provided by node.js 18 but you uh, this project is being worked on by, by uh, five developers it's not guaranteed that all of those developers have node.js 18 installed on their machine even if that is installed it's a very painful thing to switch between node versions uh, from project to project so you can solve this problem by using docker uh, what will you do is uh, if you already have a docker file until this point you have used it to run this in your production environment but now we will use this file along with a docker compost file for our local development as well so to do that create a new file called docker-compose.yaml and uh, open that up and let's see what's in inside this particular file first we have our version uh, then we have our service so docker compose the purpose of docker compose is to uh, include many services uh, we can use database and our application in the same docker compose file it will be even more useful but for now we will not do that so inside services we have only one single service which is express typescript docker service uh, as an environment we have passed this variable um, inside the environment we have to pass it manually so we have set the node environment as development uh, for building uh, for building we are using uh, this context i mean our current directory and as a docker file we are using dockerfile.dev so you will notice that i have created a new file called dockerfile.dev which will look a little different from our original docker file so what's different there if you go inside docker file you can see that after we copy our application code we expose the port build the project and run the project but this time these three commands will be taken care of by our compose file that's why i have created a separate docker file docker file.dev which is almost exactly like this setup except these three lines you will see that i am this is our base image our work directory i am copying everything i am installing everything and copying the application code that's it so if we open up our docker compose.yaml file we are using this docker file.dev not the docker file okay volumes is the uh, original directory or uh, your file storage which will be used by docker and uh, you can use it as default something like this uh, we can you can name your container so well, what's your container name it's express typescript docker uh, we will be exposing a particular port so in inside docker file notice that we have exposed a port but this time we are doing it inside the compost file that's why we didn't need these three files so we are exposing a port we are mapping the ports so when we run a particular docker image we map the ports like this right i i hope you remember that we map this application port 3000 with our container port 3000 and inside our docker compost file we are doing the same thing our application port mapping our application port with our container port and the final command that will be run is npm run dev remember we are doing the local development with docker compost here so that's why we will run npm run dev and this is uh, a pretty basic setup it will work with most of your applications most of your uh, node.js applications and now let's see uh, if it works or not so what you have to do is docker compose so you'll notice that uh, our application this time is not running on our machine it's running inside a docker container okay and it's connected successfully on port 3000 let's try to hit it and see if it returns us hello world yes it returns us hello world but in in local development we also want to change and update our code and see the changes instantly right so let's update our code 
so instead of hello world it should now return hello world updated and you will notice that our application is rebuilt restarted and it is connected again so this time when we will update it uh, or hit the endpoint it should return us hello world update yes and sure enough you can see that we are getting hello world updated now which means our code change was uh, reflected directly without stopping or starting anything uh, inside this uh, docker container okay so uh, that's the main thing you can stop it by running control c and it will just stop everything and if it stop everything you will not get any response uh, and uh, yeah that's uh, that's about it so uh, i hope you now have a better understanding of why you should use docker for your local development and how you can use docker compose the power of docker compose for your local development have a great day. thank you uh, i have a blog i have written a blog for this so you will get that blog in the description and also the project that i am showing you is also available on github i will link it in the description as well thank you so much